right, so let's try this for the third time now. Hey, what's up, y'all? I hope that you're having an awesome day. I'm not having a good day. I've had a very bad day. Today sucks, but I'm trying to keep it positive, and I'm trying to just move on, move past it, and yeah, so let's try to do that. So, today we are going to be unboxing the September Allure Beauty Box, and I gotta say, I like a lot of stuff that came in here. So before we move on, I do want to just give you a little bit of information about the Allure Beauty Box. It is a monthly subscription service, and the first month is $10, each additional month after that is $15. It is a combination of full and trial size products, so you get some full products, you get some travel size products, and there's usually about about five to six products in each box, just depending on what all is in there. And also, if you're new here, my name is Casey, this is Frank, he is a keloid scar, and he's also an asshole, so we just try to ignore him, usually I have him covered up, but it is really hot today, so that's why we don't have him covered up. Um, as always, I did break into it to see what we had going on because I like to try it on with y'all and I don't like to take a million years doing it. So, I am going to, uh, I'm going to run down the products of what we got and then we're going to apply them to my face. And yeah, the first thing that we got in our box is this from IGK. It is the Rich Kid Coconut Oil Gel. It is a coconut oil infused gel. It is the foundation in creating the hydrated, lived in, undone hair of right now. So I did apply this after I got out of the shower. Does my hair look lived in and undone and hair of right now? I hope so. Actually, it looks like a frizzy mess, but I don't know. I guess it's just kind of supposed to give you like a little bit of a texture type like I woke up like this situation, which it does look like I woke up like this because it's a pretty accurate representation of my hair. Um, so I guess it works. I don't know. I used to have really pretty, like, natural curls, but through, you know, heat styling and bleaching and dyeing and everything like that, my natural hair texture has kind of crapped out on me. I'm sure that if your natural hair texture is not this, it would look really nice on you. So, I don't know. It's okay. It smells really good. It does not smell like coconuts, just to let you know. The next thing that we got in our box, which I have used this twice already, is this from Drunk Elephant. It is the TLC Sukari Baby Facial. Um, it is a 25% AHA and a 2% BHA, so it is a chemical exfoliant. You are supposed to use this once a week. You put it on your skin, leave it on for 20 minutes, rinse it with warm water. It does say in the instructions, and I can back this up, it might burn a little bit whenever you put it on, and it does. Um, I shave my face because I like, you know, I don't like peach fuzz and all that on my face whenever I'm doing my makeup, so I do shave my face. I shave my face, and then, you know, a little while later, I put this on, and it definitely was stinging my face. Um, so just to be aware, if you do use this product, it is going to sting your face, especially if you, you know, shave your face or anything like that. But I will say, after I rinsed it off, oh my god, my skin was so soft. So, so soft. I highly recommend this. I mean, I can't really recommend it yet because I haven't been using it that long. I've only used it twice. And it does say that you're only supposed to use this once a week. So, once a week. Once a week. I do like it. I'm going to keep using it. And yeah. So the next thing that we got in our box is a MAC lipstick, and it is a retro matte lipstick in the shade Ruby Woo. Here is the bullet. Holy shit, did y'all see that? My whole lipstick just came out. No, please don't get all nasty and hairy. Oh my god. No! Oh, that is f sick. I'm so upset. You. They just open it up and the whole thing just flies out. I have dogs. There's a lot of hair on the floor, especially under the desk where I can't reach. Two thousand years later. So I sanitized it 
the best that I can. I might just use it for this video. I don't know. Uh, I really want to put it on. I sprayed it with alcohol and kind of rubbed it down with a paper towel. I guess that's okay, right? Whatever. If I get sick, it's my own fault. Don't use lipstick that falls on the floor, okay? I warned you. I think I'm going to do the next product and then we will buy the lipstick last. So, the last thing that we got in our box is this from Tarte. We have a Tartist Pro uh, Cruelty Free Lashes and these are in the style Girl Boss. We also got a Tarte Eyelash Glue. So, super cool. These three are both full-size products, so that's really awesome. Um, let me see. Let me take these out of the package so you can see the lashes a little bit better. Maybe I should take that out. You know what? Let me flip that over. I'm smart, y'all. So here is the lashes. And I'm definitely going to have to trim these down. Now that I have my handy dandy tweezers, I am going to apply some of the Tarte Eyelash Glue. Um, I've never used the Tarte Eyelash Glue before. I've always used Duo. Um, either in, always the brush on, because I don't mess with that goopy other crap. Um, I either use the clear brush on or the dark brush on. So, I've never used the Tarte before, so I'll update y'all down in the description below if I think that it, you know, did better or worse than my usual duo, because my duo is like, it's bae. Like, there's no, like, no nothing going on. It's awesome. Zoom me in. Focus. Focus. real quick. Oh my god, my back hurts. Okay, so lashes are on. They are large. They are in charge. And I really like them. The last thing that we have left is our lipstick that dropped on the floor. Okay, there you have it. This is Max Retro Matte Lipstick in the shade Ruby Woo. I like it. So this is the thing. Usually, if I'm going for a lipstick, if it's anything darker than a nude, I will only use a liquid lipstick because I just, I don't like having to mess with it and be so like conscious of my lipstick whenever it's on. Something like this, I'm going to always be like checking to see if I smudged it, if it's like feathering or anything like that. Um, so it is a comfortable matte, I will say that, but if you are into traditional lipsticks, I mean, I mean, MAC has been around forever. They have an amazing lipstick formula. So definitely check it out if you like it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I like it. What I'm going to do, do, I'm going to go around my lip line with a little bit of Jordana Easy Liner for Lips, and this is in the shade Plush Pump. Ugh. Plush Plum, just so I can clean up my lip line a little better. Okay, so that is my lipstick with a little bit of lip liner on it, and I cleaned up my edges. I just, see, I just don't like messing with traditional lipsticks, unless they are lighter than, you know, nude, nude light. Light is nude. But I just don't like messing with traditional lipsticks unless it's a nude because there's just too much work to go into it. <laughs> Alright y'all, so that is it for today. There wasn't too much to try on because I did already do a couple things off camera, but I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. 
and like and subscribe so you can see my videos in the future and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Go, 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 go.